Hello fellow roadies, I'm Dan with Compass Roads. I want to welcome you back to the channel and I kind of wanted to explain why we didn't get a video out this week. As you know, we've been building our channel uh, just over a month now and we've gotten a few videos out. Our goal was to try to get at least one video out a week and we've been trying to stick to a schedule. I do the majority of the editing. Actually, I do all the editing of the videos, but um, uh, we unfortunately didn't get one out this Wednesday like we had hoped and might have mentioned in the last video or mentioned to friends and family that um, are on our Facebook page. But I kind of wanted to explain what has happened to us this past week, which kind of put a delay in, in our shooting the video and editing. As some of you may have known, uh, Taylor May, who is our 15-year-old Yorkie, also known as um, Rody One, uh, when we were in Colorado Springs, she was getting kind of sick and taking a turn for the worse. She wasn't eating. We took her to a vet downtown and uh, they did some blood work and found out that she had 70% kidney failure and was really hanging on a thread there. So we had to put her on a, a kidney, special kidney diet for her. And we also had to give her this liquid called LRS intravenously every few days. We gave her 250 milliliters um, twice a week at that point until we could get to our next vet. So for about two weeks at that point, we're giving her LRS ourselves at home um, to the vet's recommended dosage and we're going to get her blood checked when we got to her vet in Oklahoma City at Tinker Air Force Base where she had been, been seen once before and she's in the, the military vet system so it doesn't matter which base we go to they can pull her records and everything so they did another blood work and it was even worse than it had been from the previous vet so at that time they gave us a different dosage and actually that was a week from yesterday because they were able to get us in on a friday morning at eight o'clock as a special exception we got in thursday night just for that appointment and um they had us change the frequency of her lrs to 100 milliliters every single day at that point to keep her going but uh, they were really concerned uh, about how well she was doing because she wasn't eating. You could tell she lost her sense of smell, her sense of taste. Uh, she had already been going blind. Um, I know she could see figures, but it wasn't as focused as it should be. And just because she, she had been over 11 pounds in the beginning and she was down to just over seven pounds. So she lost almost four pounds. And for a Yorkie, she, that was just like skin and bones. It was very scary just to pick her up and hold her. Uh, when we were, would just let her down on the ground gently to relieve herself, you know how they'd walk. It's just like her legs didn't want to hold her up anymore. And we could see that, that she was trembling or that her legs were trembling and um, she was struggling just to keep herself standing up. So they called us back on Monday, uh, this past Monday, before we were to leave because we were scheduled to leave at noon and they wanted to do a, a phone call follow-up to see if she was progressing any better over the weekend, which she really wasn't. Uh, we did get her to eat some treats, you know, some human food, uh, marshmallows, but it seemed like every time that we put um, a new food in front of her, she'd try it, and then we couldn't get her to, to finish eating it. And um, so we were just running out of things to try to, to give her different tastes, different things, uh, different textures, um, all wet food and stuff. So we went ahead and um, let the vet know and they were ready to put her down there uh, before we got on the road because they thought us driving on the road might be negative, have a negative impact on her. Uh, she really sleeps in the, the car with Kevin when he's in his vehicle. So 
we weren't too worried about that. We did make it to two different Corps of Engineer parks along the way because we were headed back to Kevin's home state of Arkansas where he's got family and friends and we're staying at a Corps of Engineer park right here in Lakeview, Arkansas for Labor Day weekend, which was scheduled months, um, months ago on our way to Tennessee. And we wanted to make sure that at least we could get her to the vet here that um, Kevin's mom takes her dog to. And we had, um, Rody too has been seen by this vet here as well. So we had already engaged with them about a week prior um, as far as the process of euthanizing um, Taylor and how the process worked because neither of us had ever had to do that before and um, they explained and it was so hard to like just to pick a day to do that originally we thought because we're getting in Wednesday night here um, we knew we had an event going on Thursday with family and we thought, well, let's do it on Saturday. I was trying to delay it as much as we could because we're leaving here on Tuesday after Labor Day. I knew they'd be closed on Labor Day itself. So we were trying to push it to Saturday. And they said, fine, you know, they'd be open for us. And, and one nice thing that the, the vet was gonna do for us is let us come in because because of the whole COVID thing, they were still doing curbside pickup and um, uh, trying to uh, decrease the number of people coming into the clinic itself. So they said no under this situation They would definitely let both of us go in and be there with Taylor May when um, the time came to pass Well as we we're at the Corps of Engineers in Ozark, Missouri on Tuesday night the night before we're supposed to arrive here She just seemed to get worse um, and we decided not to, well, it was really Monday night. Uh, it, it just ended up being worse. So we decided Tuesday not to give her the LRS. We had to make a call to um, have her put to rest on Wednesday. And we just wanted to keep her as comfortable as we could to get down here to Arkansas and be able to do that and make sure that we we're both available to be in there with her and comfort her as best as we could. So on uh, Tuesday, uh, we didn't give her LRS and, because we knew she didn't like it. It was being stuck by a, a needle and then having to sit with it in your back for about uh, anywhere about, with the 100 milliliters, it was less than five minutes, but you knew it was uncomfortable for her. And um, we knew we weren't going to do it for on Wednesday anyways. So we managed to get in on Wednesday and, um, or we, yeah, we got here on Wednesday early afternoon. And we had already made the appointment, um, the last one that we could for Wednesday before they closed. And um, once we got the trailer set up, we spent some time with her. We gave her whatever food on Tuesday night. We gave her some Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, we gave her some French fries, uh, tater tots, which she liked. Uh, we're just giving her anything that she could eat so she could have some, some um, physical um, gain at all, uh, some strength. Uh, and the vet said, you know, you go with the dog food, go with the soft dog food, you know, and at this point, just give her anything if you can get her to eat anything at all. And so she had some marshmallows and then we got some ice cream for her. And uh, we gave her the ice cream about an hour before we had to head out to the vet. And she looked really happy with the ice cream. And we told her she could have as much as she wanted. And uh, so she had a good amount of ice cream and then, you know, she just stopped when it was time when she couldn't have any more. And uh, then it was time for us to head to the vet. We still had an hour before the appointment. So unfortunately on Wednesday, it was a rainy morning. It was a rainy afternoon, uh, not 
a hard rain. It was just drizzly. And I was just hoping that we'd have some sun for her to run out and play. And we found a, um, a parking lot where they had some nice mown grass. It was nice, luscious green. And we took her out just, it was across the street from the vet and took her out to let her walk, sniff the grass one more. Sniff the grass one more time. And um, Kevin was watching her. I had to walk back to the truck and she was trying to chase me down. And so he picked her up because he could tell her legs were giving out and we regrouped and then uh, we just hugged on her uh, for the rest of the time. We got to the vet and I held her. They explained the, the process to us. They had to take her for about five minutes to put a catheter in her front paw or leg and uh, brought her back in a little blanket um, because I was gonna hold her through the entire process and Kevin was gonna be there with us and watch. Um, and the reason I was holding her is because I seemed to be her human. I was her number one go-to. Anytime I was around, she'd wanna be on my lap. If I was gone, then she'd go to Kevin. Uh, but, uh, it was hard just holding her, you know, she, and she was weak. She was quiet. Normally she doesn't like going to the vets. She'll bark and whine and complain, but she was just laying there comfortably in my arms. And then the nurse went and uh, explained, the situ explained how they were doing it. They gave her one drug in the catheter that was to calm her down and kind of put her into a nice um, lull, I guess. Not a, a deep sleep, but a nice calm to where she wouldn't feel anything. And then the second drug was an overdose of uh, anesthesia, which makes the heart stop uh, when you get an overdose of it. So. They gave her the, they gave her the, the anesthesia and I didn't see her face cause I was holding her tight and uh, Kevin saw her face and it seemed like within just a second or two, uh, she was pronounced dead by the, the vet technician. And um, we held her for a few more minutes We said our goodbyes to her, and um, and then they, they took her from us, and uh, uh, we opted to get her cremated, and we're going to get the ashes back hopefully before we leave here. We definitely, uh, they said, it usually takes about a week, but they're going to try to put a rush on it so we can get it before we have to leave here on Tuesday. <clears throat> They also give us paw prints, and uh, they did say the paw prints would be about eight weeks. So Kevin's mom is going to go ahead and pick that up for us. <clears throat> and um, so Wednesday was a horrible day for us. And uh, Thursday wasn't much better. We have her collar with her tag on it. And we're gonna find something nice to do to keep her in our mind, uh, in our memories. And um, we're gonna miss Taylor May. We're gonna put some pictures. We don't have any real videos, good videos of her to show, but we're gonna put some happy photos of her from when she was a puppy all the way up to you know the last few months. Uh, we aren't gonna put any. Uh, pictures that we took the day of or in the last two weeks where she was really skin and bones Because we don't want to remember her that way uh, We've got some funny stories about her that 
we try to remember when we feel sad about her. Um, she was just a loving, loving dog. And I will miss her much. And Kevin will miss her much. And so this is really a video just to explain why we didn't get a video out this week. Uh, we will be back on track for next Wednesday or before then, uh, if I can get the editing done, um, before we get on the road um, on Tuesday. So my goal is to try to get it done either tomorrow or Monday and get it released uh, for Tuesday. But we wanted to let our, our friends and followers know exactly what was going on, that we weren't just skipping out on a week, but this has been a real tough week for us. So we hope you forgive us for not getting one out this week. And, um, but we do look forward to getting the next one out. We hope you really like it. If you haven't watched the last one, go ahead, watch it. That was the, the best editing I think so far. So give your comments as to um, if you liked it or not. And like I said, we're gonna have some video or some photos of Taylor pop up here. And, uh, but that's it for right now. Thank you for all your support and we hope to see you soon. Bye.